talk to us a little more. Shahzad Punawala about Dinesh Arora. What more can you tell us about Dinesh Arora and these connections? You see, Dinesh Arora is accused number 11 in the FIR that has been registered, in which Manish Sisodia has the honor of being the accused number one. Now, there were pictures put out by Dinesh Arora himself on his social media where he is seen with Arvind Kejriwal at his residence and Mr. Manish Sisodia is seen patronizing the bar of this liquor mafia. Uh, it's called Chika Bar. Now, the question is that why was Mr. Manish Sisodia going to this Chika Bar late at night? What was the transactions that were taking place? As per the FIR, it is clear that one of the associates of Manish Sisodia was functioning as a cash collector for tailor-making the excise policy and benefiting the liquor mafia was this gentleman called Dinesh Aroda. And this Dinesh Aroda was being patronized by Mr. Kejriwal right at the highest level by allowing him to come to his residence. And uh, <coughs> these kinds of pictures have been put out. Uh, but the point is not the pictures. It is the relationship that is existing between Dinesh Aroda and Manish Sisodia and Arvind Kejriwal. So Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia must tell us that this relationship is what and this is yet another evidence of how cash was being collected, how excise policy was being tailor-made, how uh, liquor mafia was being given all kinds of benefits. And in, I am raising 15 specific questions. Those 15 specific questions have not been answered by the Aam Admi Party. The first question is, was, was 144 crore waiver given to the liquor mafia? Was the EMD of 30 crores refunded to one of the companies in violation of the laws? Is it not true that 50 rupees per crate discount was given on international beer, imported beer without proper authority in violation of the rule? Is it not true that the license operational period was increased without due approval? Is it not true manufacturing companies were allowed to come into retail in violation of the policy? Is it not true blacklisted companies on whom show cause notices were issued were also allowed to come into retail? Example, Khao Gali. Is it not true that the show cause notices were issued but no action was taken? Is it not true that the cabinet had withdrawn authority from Manish Sisodia yet you are taking decisions? Is it not true that the relaxations were given to these liquor mafias to okay. open more than two wins in Tawamawala? So these are the questions that Kejriwal and company won't answer and I hope at 12 o'clock when Manish Sisodia does his one-sided PC, he will answer these specific questions and not go on to some other topic like New York Times and Khalid Times and so on and so forth. Okay, those are questions that we'll ask from Manish Sisodia as well. Shahzad Punawala, I'm thanking you for the moment.